Yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Solo Wood Duck Limit with the new dog Judge. Trying to get him out there, getting you, trying to get him used to flopping birds. If y'all have been here since dove season, pigeon season, <sighs> Judgey got his butt whooped last year by a Canada Lesser, smacking him in the face, and he ain't been right since. So this hunt was to get him back on track and get some live birds in his mouth. But before we get going, I want to tell you guys over at DucksWaterfowl.com, you know, you know it. It is that time of year. Black Friday week is upon us, and today is the beginning. And uh, all gear and dog supplies are all 30% off today. Every day this entire week, different products, hoodies, hats, yada, 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 all across the site will have amazing discounts. So if you've been looking to buy that special Christmas gift or gifts, or just go over there as a duck hunter like myself and save yourself some money, this week is the week to do it, y'all. I'm not kidding. The chokes, everything on sale, get over there, get what you want before they're sold out. Ducks Waterfowl is always linked down in the description. It will be at the top of this video. I have some amazing videos coming, y'all. Uh, a record whitetail archery my little bro you guys will see it that video is going to go huge for him amazing I, I can't spill the beans yet and a lot of duck and goose hunting videos that i haven't put up yet we are doing a podcast tonight yes i have been busy running around in circles like a chicken with my head cut off so busy and we're going to try to get back on track with the podcast thank you guys for hanging around over there let's get into it hey judge yo what up y'all and welcome back to another one. We are walking in. Just got done sitting up on my uh, little renovated uh, farm pond here. I don't know what to call her yet. I'll come up with a clever name. Uh, she's full of water. I've been pumping her. Uh, there's been anywhere from three to ten ducks uh, a day using the pond. Look at her. Come on, let's go. I got Judge with me today. Uh, it's extra cold, like I said, I had to break ice. It wasn't thick at all. It is shooting light. I forgot my phone at the truck. That's why we're walking back again. Here, Judge. Heel. Good. Set. Good boy. Oh, Judge, a boy. Hi, buddy. He's such a sweet sweet gentle little guy he's a lot smaller than frederick aren't you yeah he's a lot smaller than old freddy he's just so sweetie mama's been spoiling him way too much <sighs> you ready to go judge a boy are you you ready to go look how sweet he is he really is he's just a sweet guy aren't you yeah you just always want kisses I don't know if, uh, if it's going to be a little later flight. I don't know how many we'll shoot. Hopefully we get one on the ground. There's been some pintail using it. A stud cotton top widgeon yesterday. Um, and some gadwall for sure. And I think a few spoonies. Just everything kind of rotating around. So uh, we're kind of on a backwards wind. It doesn't really matter. The wind's literally at nothing today. So I just kind of sat down in the shadows. Found a good spot. Smash the thumbs up button. Let's roll, boys and gals. <laughs> Till just landed. I don't know if I killed one. Oh, I just scared up a bunch of geese, though. So. Oh, I hopefully dropped one in the grass. That was like a five pack of till it just bombed in there and I was not ready. Uh, some geese just got up though, over on the big water. Uh, ha, 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 ha. I knew that was gonna happen. Till just bombed in there. I looked over, all the way in there, didn't have anything going. Luckily, I was able to get the cameras going. I knew I wasn't going to shoot one. I, it's so dark. Oh, that sucks. We're going to have to go check in that grass. 
Oh. Uh, here's some ducks coming. Oh, here's some ducks right here. Oh, we might. Canada's are closed today. Some mallards. Come on, ducks, get in here. <laughs> There's some ducks. <laughs> oh, I hope I killed one in the grass. I I think it's highly doubtful, Judge. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to kill one. Ah, uh, I, I let him get up. I spooked him up on purpose. I should have just water swatted one. Oh, lordy Bob. I mean, first bird's decoy on my pond. That's a win right there. That's, that's a win in my book. Hunt him up. I don't think I killed one. I really don't. Judge, hunt him up. Back. Back. Darn it. Hunt him up. Hunt him up. Did you find something? Hunt him up. Oh, he's peeing. Oh, man. Hunt him up. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Here, Judge. Oh, oh that sucks. Oh, it was cool, but it sucks. That had gum. I couldn't see him. It was so dark. Good boy here. I did not kill one. Huh. Well, here's a pond. <laughs> oh, you know the cool thing is about this pond is, uh, man, I wish I would have killed one. Is, uh, I'm going to walk through the middle here to break some more ice. We're getting some judge no stay out of the water for a minute let's go you have to go from the other side i don't want him getting wet if you don't have to it's cold today come on let's go the really cool thing about this pond is um i guarantee you this is the first duck hunt on this pond i don't even know where to guess how many years uh, a lot a lot i'll get back to that in one second it could be 10 years, it could be 15 years, it could be five years, I don't know. But the last time this pond probably had this much water in it, at the beginning of duck season or duck season at all, man, I would, I would venture to say five to 10 years, so. But before that, I never knew anybody ever hunting it, so. God only knows how many years it's been since a, a duck has been shot at. <laughs> Not killed, you know me, Mr. Miss Mall. Mr. Miss a Mall, judge a boy. <sighs> I can't believe that. I can believe that. Right when they landed, I'm like, oh, I better water swat one. Don't wait for him to get up. I should have listened to myself. <laughs> oh, I wish I would have shot one of them teal. Live and learn, I guess. Uh, just wasn't ready. I waited in the truck uh, all the way until right before shooting light. I didn't want to get in here too early in case there were birds sitting on it. Didn't want to spook them off and shove them off for a while, just for a minute while I sat up. Seemed to work, but um, in other news, so our Kansas goose season, when it opens, what is that, Judge? Sounds like a flying donkey. What the heck? Um, so Kansas goose season, it opened Saturday. And it's tricky. Um, like you heard me say, Canada's are closed today. Um, the only thing that is open as far as geese are speckle bellies. So everything opens Saturday and Sunday. Sunday is the last day of snows and Canada geese. They close for, I believe, like two days. So Monday, Tuesday or something. I, I would have to look. Um, 
So Canada's and Snow's close Monday, Tuesday, I guess. Uh, speckle belly stay open, ducks stay open, and then both geese open back up. Here's a big duck. It is very confusing. Know your laws, know your limits and seasons. <laughs> he did not look at us, Judge. Because, like, right there, if I didn't know um, that Canada's and Snow's were close, I could have shot probably two honkers right there. So, um, abide by the rules, know the rules, please. Stay. He's a good boy. I'm gonna break some ice, move some decoys real quick. Hopefully a bird don't bomb on me when I'm out here. Oh man, look at her. Look at her boys and gals, isn't she beautiful? So proud of my little pond. I wish I would have got the idea to flood this like I have told you guys in the past. Wish I would have, wish I would have done it um, midsummer so I could have got more millet growing. But it is what it is. Did my best with the time I had. There's some ducks, darn it. Look at the ice building. Ooh, there's a hole. Okay, good boy, Judge. Come on, ducks. Oh, good looking little hole, man. Seen quite a bit of ducks traveling. <coughs> I really wanted to get out here and just see uh, how the pond kind of provided for myself. That way, uh, clients come in in one week, actually six days. I wanted to see just how it was. Bring a couple clients in here at a time, unless it does load up with stuff kind of capping up. If I keep this bad boy open and ice free, it could really load up. By the way, got some dates open early, uh, early mid, early and mid November uh, for duck and goose hunting. This is the best. Um, season opener that we've ever had. Here's some ducks. <laughs> They're not looking at me. Seeing a lot of ducks though. Like I was saying, this will be uh, mark my words, the best early and mid-November we have ever had at Sand Hill Flyways. Um, our first groups, first three, four groups, are going to get some banger hunts. We already have a ton of geese here, ton of ducks, and a ton more coming with this weather. So um, if you're looking to come, two-man minimum, father-sons, two buddies, whatever, up to four, six, eight, whatever you got, let me know. Get here. Get here get here if you're if you've been wanting a trophy mallard widgeon speckle belly we will be killing specks in one week one week from today is our first hunt so you have a little bit of time get a hold of me fill out the booking form at sandhillflywist.com um, on the last video at the end of it i put some scouting footage it's insane i wanted to bang out my limit today and go scout before the geese got out of the field but we do have dates fill them out get here Judge, dead bird. That is my wood limit right there. That is my wood duck limit. Fetch it up, fetch it up. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> holy cow. This is a problem, Judge. Uh, he's scared of, wow. I don't know what to say right there. Holy cow, that was something else. That is my wood duck limit, boys and gals. Fetch it up. Fetch it up, fetch it up, fetch it up, fetch it up, fetch it up. Good boy, fetch it up. Judge, fetch it up. 
Judge is just freaked out about birds. I don't know what happened. Good boy, fetch him up. Fetch him up. Fetch him up. Fetch him. Fetch. Judge, that was insane. So this is the problem. He's just weary of birds. Judge, you want them? You want them? Go get them. Go get them. Good boy, fetch him up. Fetch him up. Good, hold. 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 Fetch him up. Good, hold. Fetch him up. What is your deal, man? Good, judge, judge, go get him. Fetch it up, fetch it up. Fetch it up, fetch him up. Good, hold. Good boy, fetch him up. Good, hold, let's go. Come on, good boy, there we go. That was insane. Oh, we got ducks above us, boys. That was incredible. Got a lot of ducks above us. Oh my goodness, oh, that's a hole. Same hole as earlier. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Oh. Good boy, drop. Good. Holy smokes. Oh. 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 Three wood ducks is the Kansas limit. I just shot three wood ducks. Three shells, three wood ducks. I was sitting here, didn't have the camera going. Over my left shoulder, <laughs> sound like fighter jets. Completely decoyed, almost hit the water, picked up, spun around me, I was able to get the camera going. <sighs> wow, come on guys, come on. Oh, good boy. You need a lot of courage and confidence. I don't know what's going on with you not picking up birds, buddy. Come on, you can do it. That's a good boy. He got his butt just, he got in a fight last year with a, a lesser that was wounded, a Canada goose. Um, I stood up to him and went and slapped him in the face. And ever since then, it's hard to get him back on track. Good boy, warm him up. That's a cold dog. Good boy, um, I figured Judge would be a lot colder. He's not even shivering, dude. Huh. He's such a sweet guy. That was insane, guys. Uh, here we go. Got my limit of woodies. Yes, they are all hens. The first two shots, I was like, oh, that was a hen. That was a hen. The last shot, that last hen came really close. I couldn't find a drake. I literally think they are all hens. Um, here in Kansas, it, the limit on wood ducks is three. Um, drake or female, male or female, it does not pertain. Uh, it's just three. Now, mallards, um, you can have five mallards, um, which only two can be female. So again, know your regs, guys. Know your limits. Know your dates. Know your seasons. Um, just know your regulations, y'all. Um, I had to wait for them birds to kind of separate. If I would have smashed them, uh, when I was at the beginning, when I was just about ready to pull the trigger, I would have shot like four of them in one shot. Um, just be picky. I was really questioning shooting the last one, <laughs> yeah. but she was singled out and I was like, you know what? We're going to have to get a limit. That's a limit right there. Wood row limit, baby. The pawn paying off is pretty rewarding. I am not going to lie. This is satisfying. Um, today is a win. Today is a win. I can't wait to bring some clients in here. What an amazing little pond. Uh, this whole week, I am going to fill it up as far as I can. Uh, the weather is going to warm up just a little bit. We'll have highs in the upper 40s, low 50s, which is perfect uh, because we will not carry any ice at night. Um, and the birds are going to keep spilling in. Um, our prime hunting weather is sunny. 10 to 15 mile an hour wind, high of 50, 55, low of 30. That is prime hunting for us here where we're at in central Kansas.
I also wanted to tell you guys, uh, for any of you that, um, you know, haven't booked a trip with full lodging and everything just because you didn't want to break the bank, I have a similar, much cheaper option for you guys. Um, it is called the Farmhouse. It's on one of the main farmers that I lease from right down the road from the lodge, like two to three miles. Uh, beautiful farmhouse remodeled. It will host groups, private groups, four to seven guys. So four minimum, seven. No food or beverage provided. That's why it does make it cheaper. It is still three days of hunting. We clean your birds. It has a full kitchen for you guys to cook. Outdoor grill, brand new grill actually, to cook. You will see geese, ducks, and probably pigeons in the backyard being one of the fields we hunt. So uh, it is very cheap. Very, very cheap. It's like $800, $700 less than our normal package. So very affordable, guys. Plus, we have dates in the Duck Shack for December. Everybody's been wanting to go to December. Duck Shack dates are available. Again, fill out the booking form. Sandhillflyways.com. Always linked down below. Thank you guys for being here always. Uh, living out my dream still. At a young age of 37. <laughs>